Call of Duty Black Ops 6 dropped about a month ago and it's been really fun. But that fun didn't come without hours of troubleshooting the game first. In my case, I tried opening the game and kept getting a 0xF FFFFE 0x1 or 0x2 error and it was annoying, but I eventually got it working. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix it for yourself. Let's get to it. Okay, now the first thing that we want to do is we want to actually find what is causing this issue. So the way I found it was I went to the Black Ops 6 game files, I'm going to Call of Duty, Content, and then you want to find bootstrapper.log. Now basically, the bootstrapper is basically how the game launches and they also have a bootstrapper.log. So that log will contain pretty much any information about when the game starts. So if you open it as a text document, you can actually see that I actually have a few successful launches, which is after I had the initial issue. And if you look at the initial issue before I got all of these successful launches and I fixed it, you can see that it says it failed to open D drive, Xbox library, Call of Duty content, and then the actual file that is basically lost it cannot find it so if you look my game files are in the c drive but for some reason the xbox app has configured it to look specifically towards the d drive now i haven't been able to figure out why it does that but if you take a look you can see it says the d drive and you your files will be on something completely different or another drive that is most likely what is happening for you so what you want to do is you want to just for now until they fix it or until we can actually find a real fix for this you want to actually create all of this stuff and then move the randgrid.sys file to that folder so to find that you want to go all the way down to the r's and you should see the randgrid.sys so it's actually here but apparently the xbox app has issues and it has configured it to not look to the right place. So until they fix that or until somebody finds a real fix, we're just gonna create our own. So just go ahead and go to that specific drive and it will only look towards a drive that you actually have, I'm pretty sure. And if it isn't, then I will do more research and see if I can fix that. So I'll meet you guys over at the D drive. Two seconds later. Okay, so as you guys can see, I am now at the D drive and I already have set all this stuff up, but let's go back to the text document and you can see that it is looking for a file in Xbox library, which you need to create. And then in that folder, create Call of Duty, which is here. And then you go into here and you can see that I also have content and then you go into here and it has randgrid.sys, which is just copy and paste it from the other folder. Do not look online for this file. Use the same one from the base files that it is not looking for. And you wanna make sure that you have every single folder named correctly and make sure that everything is uppercase. So for instance, Xbox library have the X uppercase and the L uppercase. Same thing with Call of Duty. Everything needs to be the exact same because as you can see here, regardless of if these folders exist, it is still searching for these folders specifically. So just create all of these folders, same everything, and then copy and paste the randgrid.sys file from the original actual game folder to this place. And then once you do that, you should be able to open your game and it works.